Hi everyone, welcome back. So till now we have seen that what is CPI and why we should choose it. And we have also seen that how we can create a account on business technology platform. And after that, how we can configure a CPI tenant. Okay. So moving forward, like uh, we will see that uh, what are the uh, main capabilities of CPI like uh, uh, we will take a tour to CPI and there we will see all these facilities like what is discover, design, monitor and setting. So let's start with the beginning like how we can open the uh, CPI. So for that I will go to my browser. Okay, now I will log into uh, business technology platform. Okay, that is uh, SAP BTP cockpit you can see. So I have already logged in and now I'll, I will click on go to your trial account. So this way on uh, you can also try and you can come to your sub account and after that uh, you have to go to instances and subscriptions so in the instances and subscription you will see uh, the integration suite which uh, we have already subscribed so i will click on integration suite and it will open in a new tab and inside that uh, there are different uh, capabilities of uh, integration suite like design develop and operate integration scenarios design develop and manage apis implement interfaces and mapping manage uh, integration with uh, trading partners extend a uh, non SAP connectivity and uh, they might add some more also or you can also uh, add uh, some customized capabilities okay so uh, actually we are we have to deal with integration flow we we are here for integration scenario for for that actually we will be using design develop and operate integration scenario so I will click on this and this will open the CPI you can see here in the URL also CPI trial because it, it's a trial account and running under Cloud Foundry. That's why it is uh, CF apps. So CF is actually Cloud Foundry that is open source runtime environment. Uh, you can explore about this. That's uh, not uh, much important here. So when you will uh, in enter to Cloud Platform integration, you will see uh, this kind of interface. So in this, uh, uh, like this is, uh, okay, let me open it. You can see here, uh, there is discover, design, monitor, a B2B scenarios that is uh, recently added. It was, uh, I think it is added recently. Okay, uh, I'm seeing it new uh, and uh, settings. Okay, so in the discover, uh, you can actually, when you will go to discover, so here you can uh, actually find the already existing integration solution. Like suppose uh, you want, uh, that is actually a standard integration solution provided by SAP. So you can see that uh, now there are 384 packages and inside that there might be uh, one or more integration solution. So this, this is actually a changing number like SAP is uh, uh, adding more packages uh, to make uh, the things easier like they are providing already existing integration solution like suppose you want some SAP SS, uh, asset intelligence network uh, integration with SAP cloud for customer okay so this kind of uh, requirement you have so what you will do that you will directly search here and you will go inside this package okay and inside that package you can see the artifacts and in the artifacts like you have to check for the integration flow okay so this is actually a already existing integration flow so when you will go inside you can copy it and you can okay let me open it why it is not opening okay this is a trial account and that's the actually <laughs> disadvantage of having a trial account like uh, the things are might not work properly okay oh it is opening now uh, so like uh, you if you are you have been given uh, this kind of scenario you can directly uh, copy this uh, integration flow okay this is actually the integration flow where uh, actually uh, source is uh, uh, sending uh, data through or data or message whatever it is uh, through HTTPS adapter and uh, after that 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 uh, I think it's a data data is uh, converted from JSON format to XML format and in the content modifier they are modifying the content and then uh, they are sent uh, using some request reply and after that that is actually updated to uh, receiver okay so if you get uh, this kind of already existing integration solution so you can directly use that okay that actually uh, we have in the discover tab so in the discover you uh, get th this is uh, actually a sign of package okay this uh, anywhere you see this uh, sign in the uh, cpi you, you should be assume that it is a package okay so you can see uh, cpi is actually uh, publishing it uh, time to time like uh, 40 minutes ago th these uh, solutions are uh, actually published so this this will be a changing number okay uh, today it is 386 tomorrow it might be uh, 387 389 
so this kind of thing will happen so if you get any scenario like you can come here and search that whether your scenario is existing here or not if that is existing that's well and good you can just directly click on the scenario and you can go to the artifacts like uh, and inside that if you get your integration solution you can click on that integration solution and what you can do that you can just copy from here and you can uh, customize that uh, in the design uh, and after that you can uh, leverage it as per your use okay so we will see that all like how we can use the design tab now coming to the design suppose uh, you get a requirement which is not present in this uh, discover that is uh, actually that uh, we can assume that like that uh, requirement is uh, not provided by the sap so what you can do that you can create your own integration flow also okay so that actually we do in the design so for now we we are actually uh, taking a tour for uh, uh, of this uh, integration uh, cloud platform integration so we will not see now that what this design uh, do but our major work will be done in the design and monitor okay so if you want to create any package first you have to create a package for that we can uh, create package or import also which we will uh, definitely see like like how we can create how we can uh, uh, import okay so that uh, like any customization customization you want to do that is actually happening in uh, design okay and now coming to the monitor so in the monitor uh, you get uh, so many uh, options like uh, from monitor you can monitor your message processing you can uh, change the uh, the log uh, level from info to trace or none anything you want you can do you can manage key stores you can manage roles securities uh, uh, any many things are there in the uh, overview okay? uh, sorry in the monitor okay so in the monitor you can see like monitor message processing so you can see that uh, in uh, past hours or you can apply the filter also like in past 24 hours how many integration flow uh, you have deployed or uh, uh, any error has come in that so that kind of facility you can get here like uh, and you can also manage the integration content like uh, you can go here and you, you can check that whether your deployed integration solution is running or stopped or starting or it has failed so this kind of information we get in the manage integration content okay you can see that here it is all here it is started here uh, it is uh, those which which has error okay and uh, you can uh, you, you get a manage security option so in that like you can store the keys uh, and uh, you can manage the roles connectivity test uh, jdbc material security material and man you can also manage the data here we, we have a data store here uh, we can uh, manage the variables message queue and number ranges here and if you you can manage locks also like a, any integration flow or any uh, artifact uh, is being locked you can uh, unlock it from here or you can lock it from here okay so and this b2b scenarios like business to business scenario is recently added so in that what happens that uh, like if you are sending uh, data uh, from uh, one business scenario to another business scenario uh, and that is that might be through uh, any adapter uh, like uh, using as2 adapter or uh, sftp or ftp so for that you can use this uh, b2b scenario that is what i am getting because you can see this is recently added and nothing is here i don't uh, have much idea about it because it is uh, like it is updated uh, in recent recent days like within two and three days it has been updated so i have to check for this and uh, in the settings so this setting tab is uh, generally not provided for the end user developer uh, because uh, this is actually managed by the organization or like basis team so in the setting you can see uh, you get the uh, like uh, what you want to enable so this is here uh, sap cloud integration is actually enabled as a de uh, default okay and rest other are actually uh, like uh, you can see uh, these are not uh, enabled these are dis disabled so you can manage it from here you can edit it and you can enable it okay so for now i'm not going to do that like uh, process orchestration uh, is the previous version of uh, uh, cloud platform integration like this these were mainly used for uh, the on-premise system okay and uh, i'm going to discard it changes yeah i'm not going to save it i will discard it and in the transport uh, uh, we, we have transport mode so this this is not something uh, we have to deliver we are developers so we only need to know that how we can develop the integration flow so for that what we will do that uh, we will uh, go to the design and we will uh, start creating a new integration flow so before creating the integration flow we will know that what are the main uh, important 
uh, components of integration flow so for that i will uh, go back to my slides and i will explain like what are the main uh, components of integration flow okay so uh, like basic basic uh, components of integration flow are like uh, one is the sender system and one is the receiver system and uh, in between we have integration flow okay so sender and receiver are actually the uh, the end point of the integration flow uh, which is actually configured uh, like uh, sender system sends the data and receiver system receives the data and uh, in between we have integration flow so in the integration flow what we do that we can modify the message uh, we can uh, modify the data like we can convert the data from one format to another format we can do the mapping of the data like if required so message mapping data mapping those kind of things we can do in the integration uh, process we can also uh, design the exception uh, catching integration okay so everything we do in the integration process uh, and uh, these are actually the uh, end point of the integ integration flow so let's move on uh, to create uh, our first integration flow so that's it for this video and we will meet in next video and we will see that how we can create our integration flow thank you guys